Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to Faith Elements Under Construction. I'm standing here in a room that I'm currently building in my house. And as you can see, it's still in a pretty rough stage. I'm not a carpenter by trade nor an electrician, but I pretend like I'm both on my house. It's one of those things I do. I feel like I do a pretty decent job. I would rate myself like a B plus, maybe a low A, just because I'm biased, of course, because it's me. One of the things that I did during this process, and I've done other construction on our house, and one of the things that I find happening is I make mistakes. And then I look at what I've done. I put a board in the wrong place, or I, I don't put a board where I need it right now. I've got a place where I need to put a board in tomorrow that I completely forgot because I was thinking like a framer, not thinking like a drywaller. And so I'm gonna, I'm going to be honest, I messed up when I was doing this project and I had to go back and fix some things. Sometimes that meant pulling some electric wires out and putting some more boards in and putting electric wires back in. Sometimes it meant moving electrical stuff because I put it in the wrong place because I didn't think ahead. And I tell you the whole time, it has been a little bit of a spiritual quest, if you will. I'm reading in Proverbs and this is Proverbs 28, 13. It says, whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper. <laughs> prosper. See, I just made a mistake, but I'm going to leave it in there because I'm going to confess my mistakes. Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper. I can't say the word prosper. But he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. You know, a lot of times we like to cover our mistakes. We like to glaze past them as if they didn't happen. And one of the things that will bring strength to us and and bring projects, whether that it's just life as a project or our spiritual quest as a project, whatever it is, one of the things that will bring it to completion is when we say, you know what, I messed up in this area and I need to go fix that. I had a friend call me a number of years ago, you know, he and I had had a disagreement years earlier and he called me out of the blue and he said, you know what, I just want to apologize and I want to express that what I did to you was wrong in that situation. And I tell you, I floated for months and years on that conversation. We're great friends to this day. And I think it's just amazing when people are able to do that. So the challenge for the end of this video for you is, in what areas of your life have you royally messed up? And in those areas, what areas do you need to go to somebody and say, you know what, I messed up in this place. I did you wrong in this way, or I failed you in this way. Will you forgive me? You know, it may seem like the anti-American thing because we're tough, we're strong, we do our thing and we don't question it, we plod forward and all that stuff. But there is so much to bring about in healing and restoration and redemption when we explore what that passage is talking about in Proverbs. And I hope that's something for you to pray about. Thanks for watching.